Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Red Elevator. I'm Nina Takish, this is the Red Elevator, and it's 2022, the year that I promised I was not only gonna change things up, but if I'm getting goods, you guys are gonna get some free goods too. So, we are going to have a really fun episode on how to style your bedroom or your guest bedroom in my case. And we are going to give away some of the items that I'm going to be using to style. So make sure and not miss this very exciting episode. Follow me. And since so many of you asked, today I'm wearing a new, really beautiful, very soft ribbed sweater with a harlequin type pattern, tone on tone with gold buttons from Maj. This is absolutely not itchy and I am like the crazy itchy person. My jeans are H&M that I will link as well as my shoes, which are Gucci. So if you didn't get to see the transformation of my guest room, I highly recommend that you take a look at the video that is going to be linked above. That video shows you exactly how and where we got all of the items that you see in this room. But today we are gonna talk about how to style your bed. I have a lot of people that direct message me and ask me, how do I get my bedroom to look like the ones in Bloomingdale's and in the department stores? And I am here to tell you, you can do it and you can do it beautifully and you don't have to overspend. And that is exactly what we're gonna do today and I'm gonna show you exactly how to achieve that look. In designing this room, I wanted to create a space for my guests to feel comfortable and to be able to really unwind and enjoy themselves while they are visiting me. It had a few components. A, I did not wanna spend a million dollars on a guest room and B, I wanted it to look expensive. So. This is what I'm really good at, is making things look extremely expensive without breaking the bank. I will link everything that is in this room that is purchasable. Uh, some of the items are vintage and antique, but those that are available will be linked below in the description box so that you too can create this look if you wish. I first started with the base, which is always your rug. You always must pick your rug first. And as you can see, the colors in this rug is what really set the standard and the tone for the rest of the room. I have black closet doors, I have black trims, I have a black credenza. And so having a little bit of black in the rug made a lot of sense. Then I brought in the bed and something that I think is very, very important that I love to tell all of my subscribers and my followers is that when you're buying a bed, don't just get the headboard, get the whole bed because, and get a bed that has feet so that you don't have to have a bed skirt. Bed skirts are out, they look dated, they look horrible, they're never straight, they're a nuisance and they always move around and who has time to fix bed skirts on a daily basis. So make sure that you buy a bed, whether it's platform or whatnot, so that it does not require a skirt. The next thing that is very important when choosing a bed is that you wanna pick a fabric that is not going to get dirty. In my case, I chose black, so it's never gonna get dirty, but if you did choose a light color, which I love, make sure that you're using either A, a fabric that is very forgiving and easily cleanable, so it could be a performance fabric, or B, make sure that it has, for instance, a um, texture or pattern that will not show stains. Initially, when I styled this room, I only chose hotel bedding, white crisp, which I will link below in the description box. They are my absolute favorite sheets on the planet. They're thick, they're nice, cotton. And um, initially it was just hotel bedding. And I like that look, but I wanted to layer in some fun, which is why I decided to do this video. As you guys know, I am an ambassador to anthropology. This video is not sponsored. So I want you to know that I love these products. It's not a sponsored video that is pushing products. It's literally what I own, what I love, and I wanted to share it with you. In fact, I wanna share it with you so badly that I am actually gonna be gifting to the pillows and the blanket. All you have to do is very simple. Leave a comment, any comment, something about the bedding, something about the room, and you'll automatically be entered and we will announce the winner next week. The very first thing I like to do when I set a bed is actually to iron the sheets. I know that's a lot to ask for, but if you don't have time to iron the sheets, at least at a minimum, iron the pillows, cases, meaning the pillowcases, iron the pillowcases and iron your duvet. If you don't have time to iron the sheets, that's okay. Most of it will be covered, but take that two minutes to do the pillows and also to do the sham that goes on your second pillow, as you can see, 
The ones that I have here have a simple black border and these have also been ironed because they will be visible. The next thing I recommend doing for styling your bed and to give it a more elevated look would be to bring in two what look like 24 or 18 by 18 square pillows. You are going to first lay your two standard size pillows. This is a queen size bed. So on a queen size bed, I recommend putting two standard pillows, layering it with a sham cover for the second standard pillow, and then popping on a 20 by 20, 18 by 18 pillow, such as the one that I have here, in front of the standard sham. Then I love putting two 14 by 14 or 16 by 16 square pillows in front of the square pillows that we just discussed. These are particularly fun because they have tassels, they have a bit of texture. I'm really loving all of the beautiful frayed and natural fibers that anthropology and a lot of bedding designers are using at the moment. So um, you do have access to a lot of products now that have this look and there are plenty of them i will link specifically these because i absolutely love them and i love the fact that we are mixing browns and blacks black to me is a little bit harsh so i like to soften it up with a little bit of ivory and a little bit of taupe a little bit of tan and it just looks very natural to me then in terms of finishing up your pillow styling i recommend a rectangular pillow that sits in front of the two smaller squares this just absolutely finishes off your look and gives the illusion of a very stylized bed. The trick to create that multi heavy puffy bed look that you see at department stores is really to layer your duvets. One duvet is never going to be enough. There's usually two duvets on those beds and I didn't do it in this particular video but they also have a feather bed underneath the fitted sheet. That creates a lot of warmth. So if you're in the um, heart of Chicago, that will work. But since we're in California, it would be insane for me to layer this bed um, with feathers, um, not under, but also over. And in my case, I have styled it according to our climate, which is in California and very warm here in Los Angeles. So finally, with regard to the styling, I have a duvet, as you saw in the beginning, that uh, laid flat. And then what I like to do is have a second blanket or a second duvet if you are in a colder climate. This duvet is placed carefully on top of the original, this blanket I should say, and it creates the layered look. The trick really to creating the hotel look or the very stylized or designer look is to layer your bed with a lot of different things. But you wanna do it in a way that is balanced and makes sense. So I decided to put this beautiful comforter um, on top of the duvet to give it the texture that it lacked. And it is very comfortable as well. And if somebody wants to just use a blanket to sleep versus a duvet, then my guest has that option. Some people don't like duvets. Some people prefer a blanket. Well, I don't have to run around and um, help my guests find the perfect bedding because everything is there at their disposal. At the very end of the bed, I decided to throw this very fun blanket. This blanket is dual purpose or triple purpose. It has a lot of purposes. One, I did it on the bed because I felt that it was fun and it matched back towards the pillows. But I also like it because in case somebody decides to lounge on the chaise longue, which they often do, by the way, when they come to this house, they usually lie on this chaise and look out the window at the beautiful view. And if they get a little chilly, all they have to do is grab this throw blanket, throw it on them, and now you have created a cozy, cozy situation. Now, if you make a entirely too cozy of a bedroom situation. The only negative is that your guests might never leave. With regard to nightstands, number one rule, keep the height of the nightstand the same as the top of the mattress. You don't wanna reach down or reach up to get something to drink or turn your light on. You wanna keep everything uniform and level. So if your bed is low, you're gonna to have to find some very low nightstands, which I did in an estate sale. And if not, read the description when you're purchasing items, look at the measurements. I can't tell you how many people call me freaked out um, and never realized that they hadn't read the description of the item they're purchasing. So make sure you look at your measurements. These are my favorite lamps. I have them in this room and I can never get tired of them. These are also going to be in the description section if you wanna get your very own. Most of my pieces are vintage, I have to admit. That is because I love estate sale hunting. Sound off below if you want me to take you on one of my estate sale hunts. I can't tell you how many wonderful pieces I have found. For example, all three of the pieces that you see here, the art, the console table, which is a desk, and the chair were all estate sale finds. So if you wanna learn how to shop in your area for estate sale pieces, 
let me know and I will actually take you along. And let me tell you how much money you're going to save and how great it is for the environment to be able to upcycle and reutilize items that are being seriously discarded and are really great items. This is the Cartel Ghost Chair. This has been around for a long time. And this is a piece that I absolutely recommend to those who don't know what else to put in their room in terms of a chair, an accent chair, because it's see-through, so it matches everything. It's the French sort of Louis chair that has been, of course, a pun, no pun intended, tongue-in-cheek redone in acrylic. And I actually use this as my vanity chair in my bathroom because I didn't want to cover up all the beautiful marble that surrounded me. So it has a lot of good purposes and a wonderful item to invest in and purchase. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of how to style a bedroom, a bed, how to find the perfect things that you're going to love and cherish for many years. I am so excited to have you guys as part of my family, part of the love that I share with you. And I have to say, so many of my friends who read these comments, they say to me, Nina, your subscribers are so nice. They're so kind, they're so wonderful, they're so loving. Don't think that I don't notice how wonderful and beautiful and kind you are. And your comments warm my heart. I can't wait to see you again next week on this channel, The Red Elevator.